Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another one of my videos. I'm very excited because today we are going to try a lot of products from Pat McGrath. So if you want to see me create a makeup look with this product then please keep on watching. Okay, before we start, I just want to tell you that I really want your opinion. I bought a new mic and I'm not really sure how it works. So let me know down below if the sound is good or I need to do something different about it. Please let me know down below. I'm very curious because when I edit my videos, I feel like it's a good sound, but you know, you never know how it's going to translate to other uh, phones or iPad parts or where you watch my videos, but please let me know down below what you think about the sound. But today I'm here to try and review some of the Pat McGrath's products. Now I got the Mothership 2 collection, I think it's called, and I think a couple of years ago that I reviewed one palette from Pat McGrath that I borrowed from my sister, and then I reviewed something more from Pat McGrath on my channel, I think lip glosses and uh, yes, and this palette, this beautiful palette. And I really love this palette. I, it's my, one of my favorite palettes that I've been using to create makeup looks and I think it's worth the money, but I want to try more. Okay, so I scooped a little bit closer so you can see me better. I'm going to open this box. I haven't even opened. Yes, I have. I'm lying. I have opened this box. Let me just show you. Full box! Yay! We have some lip liners, lip gloss, lipsticks, eyeshadow palettes, and uh, highlighters. I do want to. On my face, I do have Shiseido's uh, foundation, NYX primer, and then I have blush from Scott Baron, Scott Pr Blush, Anastasia Brow Gel. No, brown pomade, Anastasia brow pomade on my eyebrows, and that's what I have. Nice. Okay, so let's start with this beauty here. It's a beautiful palette, and I'm nervous to use it. I'm kind of curious to see how it's looking. This is how the packaging looks like. We're going to t remove the plastic. Okay, satisfying. Oh yes, look how beautiful that is. Ooh, I like it. It's kind of heavy. It does feel expensive, this packaging. And this is the palette. So we are going to create a makeup look with this. Nice. I also have this small palette too. And I'm going to review that too on my channel. I'm going to create another makeup look with this palette. And let's just open it. I think I'm not going to keep this package, outside package. It's beautiful, but I'm not going to keep it. So this is the outside packaging. I was uh, wishing that it was kind of pink because everything else went with, went with the pink, but that's what it is. Then we have this highlighter. Oh, I'm going to use the highlighter first. I am going to use the highlighter first because I'm kind of scared that it's not going to match my skin tone. But I think I watched a couple of videos and uh, everyone that uses it kind of can use it uh, on different skin tones. It skin tones is kind of remind me of that Anastasia and Amarese highlighter that's suitable for many skin tones. Now this is the highlighter. It's beautiful. Uh, it really matches my clothes. The only thing I feel like it, this one feels a little bit more, it does feel expensive, but a little bit cheaper than the other palette. And this is the highlighter. Um, oh my God, look at that. Let's use it. Let's use it. And for the brush, I am going to go in with Soso and Kayla Esco One palette. picks up a lot of product, so let's... Ooh, that's really nice. It's really, really nice. And it looks to be a very good match for my skin tone. 
Oh, I love this one. I don't have anything similar to this in my collection. I do have plenty of highlighters, but nothing like this. So this is a plus. Maybe you can hear my sound playing in the next room. I don't know how much you can hear because, you know, this mic maybe, maybe picks up more sounds around me. Oh, I love this highlighter. I have played a lot just because I want to play with the highlighter and see how it goes on. But I feel like it's pretty good. It, if I was a little bit lighter, I think it would be too dark. But so far, it kind of looks very good. I think it's too... Hmm... It wouldn't hurt if it was a little bit lighter, but as I can still make it work. I still think it's good. And uh, definitely will be much better when I, you know, get more tender in the summer. Like it. Okay, so I'm going to go in with uh, Cash Beauty's Eyeshadow Brush number 8. And I'm going to go in this darkest shade here in this palette. And I'm going to use the mirror in here. And I'm going to put this a little bit above my crease. Yes, I'm going to go in deep. I'm not going to press hard. I just want to create another crease. And then I'm going to take my brush and go back and forward. I'm trying to blend it, but not blend it too much. Just so it doesn't have that harsh line. This is blending very nice. And I wish that they would release more of this kind of packaging and price range because it's a little bit more affordable. Okay, so I am going to go in with another brush. This is also Cash Beauty number seven and go in with this lightish matte shade. I think there is only two matte shades in this palette. So we're going to go in with this other. Just go above the crease and blend. I really hope my mic works and it picks up a good sound and makes quality a little bit better. So I'm going to go back with the same brush that I used before without adding any eyeshadow and just blend more. Well, I love this. This is exactly what I wanted. So my nose is itching a lot today. Okay, so I am going to go in with uh, this shade here and I'm going to use it in uh, Cash Beauty number no. nine brush without wetting the brush. I'm just going to try and pick it and place it here. Huh. A little bit of fallout. Oh, this is a nice shade. Let's see how it's picking up with the finger. It's kind of a nice shade. Yeah, the finger works also really good. It feels like this is a shade that you need to press more into the skin. Really nice shade. So, what I am going to go in is clean this brush and I'm then going to go in with this whole duochrome that's kind of green, purple, pink, beautiful duochrome shade with the same brush. Let's see if we can... It's picking up nice with the brush, but I think I want to try the finger too. It's really nice duochrome shade. Oh yes, the finger is right way to go with. Oh, that's nice. I'm loving that. I don't know if you can see the shift. I feel like the camera doesn't really do it justice, but it's a beautiful shift. Because I want to try more shades, I am going to just tape 
tap my finger into this shade here and apply because it feels like it's going to be like a topper just in the center of my eye. That's so pretty. I feel like it looks much better in real life than it does on camera. So we are going to go into lower lash line and for the lower lash line I am going to go in and take another brush. I'm going to go in with the Sosu and Kayla number four brush. I don't know if this brush is available but it's like this kind of pointier brush and I do want to go in with, let's go in with this shade here to bring it low, lower but I am going to go with a shimmery shade too. I feel like I do all these funny faces when I'm going on my lower lash line, like this. <laughs> it looks always funny. These are very pigmented, but they are very easy to blend, very easy to use. I'm going to go back with this brush number 8 from Cash Beauty and just without adding eyeshadow, you know, just blend this one a little bit. I want to bring it a little bit lower to make more this eye look more smoky and I love going very low with my eyeshadow I do prefer that I am going to go with this brush that we used for the crease not crease, the eyeshadow and I'm going to go in this shade here and place it under my lower lash line That's pretty. I feel like this makeup look turned out really, really cute. I like it, but we do miss something. Yes, I forgot. We do miss something. We can't go like this. So I'm going in with this also in Kayla number six, this small brush. And this is all my fingerprints now on here. Does not look good? I'm going to go in and highlight my brow bone and have it in my here too, just to use this. Oh, this is uh, pink, cute. Maybe is it too dark for this? No, it kind of works. Okay, so I do have a eyeliner that I want to try out. Yes, Ultra Girl. What I like with these packages is that you get the sharpener and I always lose this. So I'm very happy to have uh, these two. This one is uh, Permanent Ultra Glide Eye Pencil Crayon in Bielco Coffee. Blink Coffee? Bielco? I don't know. But it's this beautiful brown color. And I'm going to use this waterline. Oh, this is really creamy. Oh, I really like well, like this pencil. And I had to go come very close to my eye, to my no, to my mirror, so I can see what I'm doing because I don't have my glasses on. But this is beautiful, very very nice. I remember, I think in one of my subscription boxes, or maybe in one of my calendars, Christmas calendar, I got this Pat McGrath um, eyelash mascara. Paddish Eye Mascara that I haven't tried out, so I'm going to use it today. So I'm going to curl on my lashes. Let's use this mascara. Maybe I will put eyelashes on, maybe not, depending how my eyelash is going to look. Okay, let's go in with the mascara. That's a nice wild color, looks to be a thick mascara. Oh, separates eyelashes. Oh my God, do you see? I don't know if you can see any difference, but this is beautiful mascara.
Okay, so this is th three coats with this mascara and I really like how it separates my lashes but still make them thick and long. So I really like this mascara. I'm not going to put any, any, any um, eyelashes on because I really, really like how it looks. So let's go now to the lipstick. I do have two lip pencils and uh, let's see this color here. The first color I have is Suburbia, Suburbia, I think it's called. Maybe I'll get you the name, who knows. And the second shade that I have in here, it's actually Buff. So there are two shades. Let's kind of try them both. Oh, I like this one. This is the Buff lighter shade. Or we'll use this one. Can't see anything from my mirror actually. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with this more pink uh, named Suburbia. Suburbia? Suburbia? Don't know. Very creamy. Okay, so this line is very creamy. I tried to try not to have too much pressure because I felt like it's going to be a little bit too creamy, but it's very nice, very easy to use though in very light hand. Now I do have a lipstick and this is in shade Divine Rose that we're going to use the Bullet lipstick. And look at this cute packaging. Ooh, love it, love it, love it. Let's use uh, this shade. And I am going to go over with a um, lip gloss or wear matte liquid. Maybe we should go with a liquid lipstick. Should we? Let's see the matte liquid lipsticks. I think I have two shades in Divide Rose. There's this kind of shade. It kind of goes with this lip liner that I have. Maybe we should use that one. And the second shade is a lighter shade that goes, I think, with that other lip divide rose lip liner so let's go in with this one let's go with this formula i do want to try this formula because i love the lip glosses that i bought from pat mcgrath I feel like this is light formula. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Kaya Cosmetics. Kaya Cosmetics lipsticks that are matte liquid lipsticks that are also this kind of moussey formula. Very light on the lips. Uh, my lips are a little bit dry today. And I think you can see that too. But I, I like this makeup look. I think it's very cute. Nice. I love the mascara, I love the lashes, uh, how they look. I also feel like the highlight is very nice. Uh, the eyeshadows are beautifully, very easy to use, very, very easy to use. I kind of feel like I could play with them all day. I really, really like how this makeup look turned out. Let me just round down and fix my hair and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. So I really, really like these Pat McGrath products. I think they're beautiful. I think they're wonderful. I feel like, I feel like a princess right now. Now this lipstick, it kind of, my lips have a lot of texture and I think you can see it. I don't have any fillers, nothing that plumps my lips. And I feel like um, you can see all of the lines when I use matte liquid lipsticks. But this must be the most comfortable liquid lipstick I've ever, ever tried because it feels nothing on the lips. <laughs> it feels like I don't have anything on my lips right now. And I think this makeup look would also look good with the falsies. But I don't want to wear falsies today because I'm really happy with my eyelashes. I feel like they're very long, they're beautiful, 
uh, elegant and I'm uh, definitely curious to see how it's going to look after wearing this couple of times or couple of hours just to see if it's going to flake or smudge or anything. I really hope not because this maybe is one of my new favorite mascaras so far. But I really like this makeup look. I think it's beautiful and um, I feel like a rose. I love roses and I'm very glad that I have this. I really like the highlighter too. It kind of make, gives me this nice wet look on my on my cheeks. I like it. Uh, I just went to fix a little bit my hair. It's kind of a messy bump, but don't care about it. And I've seen on this camera right now, it looks uh, this eye look makes looks like uh, that dusty rose, red, pink rose color. But in the mirror downstairs, it looked green. So I, my son said, like, it, Mom, it's so cool. It looks both pink and green. And I feel like it does. It really does. So uh, I know this collection has been out for a while. It's nothing new. But it's actually new to my collect to my collection and it's new to me and I'm kind of very curious to try it more. I am also very curious to try this small palette that I haven't had a chance to play with today. So maybe something I will play tomorrow with kind of looks good. Maybe try it when I actually to make a very easy fast makeup look going to work tomorrow. We'll see how that will go. But so far so good. I'm liking the lipstick, I'm liking everything that I wear tonight, today, and I'm definitely very happy with this purchase. So, very nice. Please let me know down below if you tried any of the um, Pat McGrath's products. What do you think about them? Are you curious to try them? Also, please don't forget to let me da know down below what you think about the sound. Now, I sit a little bit further away from... Um, my camera do you still hear everything properly that like in the beginning when I was a little bit more close to the camera please let me know down below so I know what to do <laughs> but yeah that's that's everything thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell and I see you in my next video I love you all bye